Hey everybody, this is Will over to MTG Tech Talk, and today I want to talk about the WannaCry or Wanna Decrypt or ransomware virus. Uh, you may have heard about this. It started, it started in the UK over the weekend, and it started hitting hospitals. There was like 21,000 computers that got got hit with this thing within the first 12 hours or so, and it has slowly just been going out. Uh, if you look at heat maps, there it started in the UK, is now crossed to here. We're on the east, where it's slowly going from the east coast west, and this is this is really bad. This is probably one of the first huge big attacks like this. This is this is essentially this this is essentially like a nuclear weapon that has gone off in within the cyber world and how this ransomware came to be was actually an exploit that the NSA had within Microsoft operating systems it had it and it I mean, didn't they didn't tell anybody what it that the capabilities of it unfortunately it either got leaked or was stolen from the NSA which is good job good job securing your stuff and then once it was stolen it got released online and then somebody took that exploit created a ransomware infection and then spread it out luckily when the the exploit first hit the the internet microsoft a couple days later pushed out a patch an emergency patch they usually We'll save this stuff for Tuesday for Patch Tuesdays. This one, as soon as it, as soon as they were ready, they pushed it out, and that was in the middle of March. So if you are completely up to date with your computers in terms of Windows updates, you are you're you're good. But as at least three hundred thousand people going, to, which is going to increase a lot over these next couple of days, if you aren't up to date you are vulnerable uh, if you if you have an XP computer or if you have a server 2003 computer there were no updates to stop this you are totally you're totally out in the open you're totally going to be unprepared and unsecured for this this is one of those things where antivirus makers and other people out there will try to try to stop and save save XP. But if you have either XP or Server 2003, the best thing that you can do to keep yourself protected from this is to remove that device from ever turning on and just just, just throw it away, just get rid of it, replace it. It's time to it's time to upgrade these things. And this this is showing that this is just the first one. And whenever a big one hits like this, there's there's a whole bunch of malicious hackers and unscrupulous people that will see how they did it. Intent, uh, they will they will create their own variations. They will modify the code a little bit, and it'll get thrown out. And we'll constantly we're constantly going to get new new ransomware infections based off of this kind of exploit. So if you have if you have Windows 10, you're good. That's the the exploit has was closed, and they didn't even allow that exploit to happen on Windows 10 when they were creating the new operating system. Uh, if you're on 8.1, you're good. If you're on 8, you're gonna want to make sure you're up to date with all of all of your Windows updates, and that would mean going to 8.1, which is in the store and free to download. I really recommend you get off of 8 and Vista, XP, and Server 2003. If you have Windows 7, as long as your updates are current, you're good to go. So just right now, it would be a good idea to go in, check for Windows updates, if it finds anything, just download it, and then you should be safe. If you have if you have been infected, there are only two possible outcomes to get your data back. One is you pay the ransom, which is about three hundred dollars. Or if you have a backup, which you should, you should have a three-point backup. You should have your computer, 
you should have an external device plugged into it that's backing up, and then you should have it somewhere on the cloud, somewhere in a data center that's totally away from you. That way, if you do get hit, you can just roll back and recover that data. Um, but this this is this is a huge, big thing that's probably going to affect everybody in some way, shape, or form. So just just make sure you're up to date and make sure you have a good backup plan. If you don't have a good backup plan, you don't know don't know how to back up or what you or, or or anything like that. You can you can find me on Twitter or Facebook. You can ask me those questions, and I will gladly throw throw out some information for you. But having a good backup is really the only course of action against stopping this because this this is merely just one ransomware attack in a sea of hundreds that we've been getting. So that's by having a decent backup, you're you're protected. Sure, it's it's terrible if it hit you. We don't want it to hit anybody, and that's why you need to keep your keep your Windows updates completely up to date and have a good antivirus program. But should something happen, if you have your backup, you're you're safe. So like I said, if you have any questions, just hit me up on Facebook or hit me up on Twitter or you can email me and I can throw some links out. But this has been Will over at MCG Tech Talk. Stay safe.